Hello, how are you today? I'm good. What brings you into the office? Um, I have a food problem. I rode the bike a couple of days ago and I was wearing slippers, unfortunately. And the slipper got caught in between the pedal and the ground and it kind of just, um, yeah, caught my foot in there. Wow, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Was that a couple of days ago? Two days ago, yes. Okay. On um, a scale of one to ten, what level of pain are you at right now? It was about a nine right after it happened. And now it's maybe a four, I would say. Okay. Are you taking any acetaminophen right now? Um, I'm taking some ibuprofen. Every four hours? Oh, I would say I took it twice a day, so every 12 hours. Okay. Is there bruising? I'm not seeing any external signs. No, it's just the pain inside the foot and around the ankle that um, keeps bothering me constantly. But there was no no scratching, no bleeding, just the, the muscle that was in the ankle that was contorted. Okay, and did you um, bump anything else? Did you bump No, I didn't fall. Okay. All right. Have you ever had any surgeries? No major surgeries, no. And did you get any nausea after you fell? No. And can you just confirm your name? Yes, my name is Luna Lux. Your date of birth? February 1st, 1992. And what did you have for breakfast this morning? I had toast with butter, jam, and no uh, cheese. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Um, we'll take a general assessment. Um, we'll make sure that we give you a little bit of a massage, and we're going to try to make sure that everything is good with your foot, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. What I'd like for you to do is lay down on the massage table so that we can get started. Okay. I'm just going to be putting on my gloves. Any pain going up the leg? No. And all the way up? No. Okay, let me have a look at the saphenous nerve. And I'm just going to have a look at the saphenous nerve to see if there's any nerve damage. Any discomfort there? No. Okay. And I'm just going to check the other leg for pain or any discomfort. And checking the saphenous nerve. Any discomfort there? No. Okay. Checking the temperature. Checking for any heat or pain areas. 
temperature is the same for both feet. Take my left and have a look in between the toes here. Okay, no bruising in between the toes. No scratches. And let me check the other toes here. Let me check in between the other toes. Okay, so I want you to tell me if I am pulling your toe up or down, okay? Down. Up. Down. Down. Up. So no discomfort with the toes, correct? Yes. Very good. I'm going to do a quick test here just to make sure that the blood flow is the way that it should be. Reflex hammer here on your bony prominences. That's the bane right there. Okay. Yep, right there. Right here? A little bit down. Yes. Okay. This is the lower part of the foot here. Does it hurt at the bottom as well as the top? Yes. Let me know if you feel pain in any other areas. No pain there. No pain. And I'll just check this side as well because you can never be too careful. Any pain? No. Any discomfort here? No. You can feel this vibration. Yes. 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 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Okay, very good. I'm going to go ahead and do a sharper doll. This is dull here, and this is sharp, okay? Okay. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. 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 Sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, sharp, dull, dull, sharp. Very good. Now we're going to do sharp, dull, or cold. This is cold, cold, okay? Cold, cold, sharp, dull, sharp, cold, cold. Very good. Alright, so I'd like to perform a little bit of acupuncture where you feel the pain in the foot here to help release that tension, get the blood flow moving, and the inflammation decreasing. But what I'd like to do is just measure the area to make sure that this isn't too much more swollen than this side. So I'll be using my measuring tool here. Here. Double check again with this side. Okay, this side is a little bit more swollen. I'm going to spray just a little bit of just pain relieving ointment on the foot here to help. 
pain. You should feel a cooling sensation. Do you feel that? Yes. Start with that acupuncture here. Penetrating deep into the cells for cell rejuvenation and growth and muscle repair. And this should feel very soothing. of the toe. That should feel much better. So I have a tool here, it has two prongs, and I want you to tell me if you feel two or just one, okay? Two, one, two, two, one. All right, I'm going to have you wiggle your toes. Okay, and now tell me which, um, Oh, you feel me touching, okay? My pinky toe. My middle toe. My big toe. Big toe. Second toe. Pinky toe. My penultimate toe. Big toe. Okay, very good. What I'm going to have you do now so I'll have you turn around for me so we can focus on the soles of your feet. But before we do that, I just want to do the Babinski test. We're going to put a sharp object over your feet to make sure that you can feel it. Good. Very good. Okay. I'm going to have a feel at the bottom of the feet. For inflammation on the bottom. I know you were saying you were having a little bit of pain here, right? Yes. Okay. And how about on this side? No. I'm going 
to use my light here. Checking for any redness, bruising on the toes. Do you feel this? Yes. On each toe? Yes. Do you feel this on the heel? Yes. Very good. I'm going to go ahead and palpate. Feeling of the sole of the foot here. Feel this? Yes. You should feel it going all the way down your foot. Yes. And then back up. Yes. Where am I tapping? My big toe. Pinky. Middle toe. Second to first, my heel, the sole of my foot, plantar region, heel, plantar region, heel, big toe. Small toe, heel. Very good. So you don't have any loss of feeling, which is a good sign. I'm going to do a little bit of acupuncture here. Once again, just to get that blood flow that we're looking for so that your foot can heal properly without any excessive nerve damage. Just trying to get the foot to
doing a sharper doll. This is sharp. And this is doll, okay? Okay. Sharp. Doll. 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 Sharp. Doll. Sharp. Doll. Sharp. Doll. Sharp. Doll. Doll. Sharp. Doll. Doll. Do sharp doll or cold. Cold. Sharp. Cold. Doll. Sharp. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Cold. Sharp. Dull. Very good. Now I have two prongs or one prong, okay? Two, one, two, two, one, two, two. Two, one, two, one, one, two. Very good. I'm going to use my tool here just to relax the foot. with skin elasticity, pain management, anything swollen helps reduce that, any swelling. So just going to massage my tool here.
I'm gonna spray one of your feet and just let me know which one it is. Left. Right. Right. Left. Right. Left. 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 Okay. I have two sensations here. This is one. This is two. One. Two. Tell me which one you feel. One. Two. One. One. Two. One. Two. One. Two. 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 One. Good job. Okay. I want you to tell me which toe you feel me pressing on? Pinky toe. Middle toe. Big toe. Big toe. Middle toe. Second to last. Pinky toe. Second to last. Middle toe. Very good. So what we're going to do now is finish off with a very relaxing, soothing massage. I'm going to add some jojoba oil to the soles of your feet. Is this comfortable? Yes. Should be very soothing and relaxing for you. Feels wonderful. We hold all of our stress under our feet. It causes inflammation in the body. It sometimes slows down the healing process as well. So this will help speed things up.
feel the deep penetration here of the metal massage device. really help reduce the pain. Creating some heat. How do you feel? Great. How do you feel? So much better. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. As you felt, we did a lot of sensory testing. We had a massage, got some blood flow moving. I saw your foot decrease in inflammation as we ended your exam. So I feel like you should be feeling much better. If you have anything, any concerns or anything like that, just let me know next week or in the next couple of weeks, okay? Thank you so much. What brings you in today? Um, I was moving recently and had a fall and I hurt my head and my knee. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear about that. Um, was it your right or your left? My right. Okay. So I think what we should do is a cranial nerve examination, mm -hmm. um, which will include your vitals as well. Okay. Was there any bleeding or no. blood loss? No. Okay. Definitely do a thorough check to see what's going on. Um, do you currently have a headache right now? No. Perfect. I'm going to start off by listening to your heart and your lungs. Do you smoke? No. Alright, it's going to be just a little bit cold. Alright, I'll have you breathe normal for me. Okay, take a deep breath in. And deep breath in. Good. And gonna use the bell. Deep breath in. And again. 
good. No crackling or anything like that. Let's go ahead and check your oxygen nation and your temperature. 98.4 all the way to your ear. Just need your index finger. BPM is 89, normal. And go ahead and check your blood pressure now. Have you ever had that done before? Yes. Okay. It involves a little bit of pressure on your arm. Let's see if we can slide this in. Good. I'll have you just hug yourself with your arm. Perfect. Do you suffer with any higher or low blood pressure? No. Okay, 118 over 75. No elevation, nothing to be concerned about there. And I'm sorry, how long ago was the fall? Um, about a week ago. So you're just still feeling the pain and you just want to get checked out? Yes. Let me go ahead and set this aside, okay? Putting on some gloves. Having a feel of your head. On a scale of 1 to 10, how much pain are you in right now? Mm, 2. Perfect, okay. Alright, let me have a look here. Feeling for any masses, any um, inflammation, which would come out in this form of a lump or bump of some sort. The head feels, feels normal. I can't feel anything specific right now that is of concern. I'm just gonna have a feel of your temples here. And your thyroid tonsils. Don't feel any bumps or see any bruising initially on the arms or the hands. Let me know if you feel any pain in your temples here, on your nose or sinus cavity area. It's gonna be a look with my light. Just having a look at the T-zone here. No signs of bruising on the face or anything like that that um, I should be concerned with. Do you have a headache right now? Not really. Okay, very good. No bruising on the chest area. Let's go 
try to take your hand and bring it up here on your arm. Take a look with my light. Looking for any bruising on the arm. And the fingers here. Check the capillary response. The skin tone is is even. Um, pink, moist skin. Healthy skin underneath the palms. Taking the other side here. Even skin tone. Checking the capillary response. The bruising or discoloration there. So just a few um, cranial tests here. So I'm going to try to turn your head. Don't let me. And this side here. I'm going to try to bring it down. Don't let me. Push it up. Don't let me. Good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have you shrug your shoulders. And don't let me push them down. Good. And um, bring your eyebrows up. Don't let me push them down. Very good. And just leave them there. I'm going to try to push them up, but don't let me. Okay. Yeah. All right. So are you able to smile? Frown? Stick your tongue out. Very good. I'm going to focus on the cranials in your eyes. Mm -hmm. So I want you to look at my nose. I'm going to move my fingers mm -hmm. and tell me if it's your left or your right. Left, right, both, left, right. Very good. Now I want you to continue looking at my nose and tell me when you don't see my fingers anymore, okay? No. 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 Perfect. So I have a Snellen chart here. Okay. And I would like for you to read um, the letters that I'm pointing to. Okay. D. S. P. H. L. L. H. O. F. E. C. What color is this? And this. Green. And what number circle is the biggest? Nine. The middle? Six. Smallest? Two. Perfect. And read the bottom line here. L T F P H. Very good. And the numbers are here? 2050. 2020. Well done. I am now going to take a look inside of your eyes, uh, just checking your optic nerves. And I'll have you look this way for me. I'm just going to come close and take a look. Okay. I'm just going to pull down a little bit to take a look at the optic nerve. Can you look up for me? Very good. Eyelash distribution is normal. And there's no popped blood vessels or veins or anything like that. And the eye color is normal. I do see a little bit of tearing, which <laughs> is fairly normal if you're touching your eyes. Mm. Some people are more sensitive than others. Mm. Um, let me go ahead and take a look at that side. Okay. I'll just have you look that way. I'm just going to pull the eye down a little bit. Okay, just having a look at the optic nerve, which is healthy, normal, no discoloration. Okay, I'll give you a little bit of a break there, and then I will ask you to look up for me if you can. Okay. All right, perfect. No discoloration, good. All right, uh, distribution is normal. 
Are you in any pain right now with your mm -hmm. eyes? Perfect. Since your eyes are intact and everything looks good, I'm going to move on to the smell test portion of the cranial nerve exam. Okay. And so I'll have you smell three different tinctures. Strawberry. Good. Cinnamon. Grass. Perfect. So that portion is done. Now I'm going to move on to the taste test portion. Okay. And this is just a tincture that I created. It should be very easy to taste it. Coffee. Yes. Very easy. Good, good, good. Okay. Now I'm going to take a look into your ears. Have you ever um, had any ear pain? No. No tinnitus or anything like that? No. Good. All right, let me take a look into the ear here. All right, the cranial nerve in the ear is intact. Everything looks good. There's not much earwax. Looks very healthy. No scabbing or anything like that. No abnormal discharge. Good. I'll check the other side. Okay, so I'm just going to take a look into this side here. Okay, the tympanic membrane is pearl gray. We don't really have any earwax here, which is a good sign. Looks like you take really good care of your ears. Very healthy. Perfect. Now I'll do a really quick hearing examination to make sure you can hear. Okay. And so I'm going to whisper two words into your ears. Just repeat them back to me, so I'll have you close your eyes. Okay. Coconut. Coconut. Apples. Apples. Very good. Now I am going to use my little mini stapler here to make a sound. Okay. That's what it sounds like. I'll be doing this a few times. I just want you to count, okay? Okay. One, two, three. Good. Two. Four. Four. Good. Keep your eyes closed if you can. And I want you to guess this sound. Water. 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 And if you could tell me what this sound is. Stapler. Stapler. Good. I have a tuning fork here now. Okay. And I just want you to say yes when you hear it, okay? Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. And tell me if it's further away or closer to you. Further. Closer. 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 Perfect. Now I'm going to do a sharper dull test. And this is sharp. And this is dull. Okay. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. for you to, if you can, bring your knee up and you can bring it over here to hold it if you'd like. And I just want to do a thorough sharp adult test here. Sharp. Don't. Sharp. Don't. Sharp. Don't. Sharp. Don't. Sharp. Don't. Sharp. Dome, sharp, sharp, sharp. I'm gonna stay, I'm gonna have you stay there. 
I'm going to have you stay right there and I'm going to do some measuring. So we're at 5.3. 5.4. I just want to make sure that one isn't more small than the other. the circumference. Perfect. You can bring it down. The circumference of this knee, the one that you hurt, is just about just a little over 16 inches. Perfect. I'm just gonna measure from here to here. Sharp or dull? Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. You appear to have good sensation in both of your knees, which is great. Let me make sure that one isn't more swollen than the other. That percentage seems to be the same, so you're not losing muscle or anything like that. Let me go ahead and measure this. You good? Actually, I'll do the other side. Thank you for doing that. Good. So just over 16 on this side as well. So that means that. Um, it's not swollen, um, and I don't see any bruising or anything like that on either side. So what I'm going to have you do is um, lay down mm -hmm. so that I can do a more like thorough examination. Might do more of an orthopedic thing while you're laying down while moving. Bring your legs up and down. Okay. See if it hurts at all. What we can do. 
So have you lay down? I'm gonna have a feel of your legs here. Just gonna bring this leg up. Just wanna make sure that both legs can stretch this far. Good. Okay, any discomfort there? No. Okay. Let me go ahead and focus on the feet here. Is it alright if I remove your socks? Mm hmm. So I'm going to do a really quick sharper doll on the lower extremity. Sharp doll. Sharp doll. Sharp doll. Sharp doll. Doll. Sharp. Dome. 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 Sharp. Sharp. Dome. Dome. Okay. I'm gonna measure your your feet and your ankles. on your bony prominences and just let me know if you feel any discomfort. I'm going to um, put a puff of air on your legs and your feet and just say yes if you feel it. Yes. 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 I'm gonna go ahead and measure your toes here. Make sure none of them are broken. Oh 
underneath the feet as well as um, the Babinski test. Very good. Very good. Sharp. Dull. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Dull. Sharp. Sharp, 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 dull. Okay, I'm going to now have um, a different sensation like this one. Mm -hmm. And just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Another sensation which is a little bit different. Just say yes when you feel it. Yes. 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 Okay. And I'm going to measure the sun. I'm going to measure the circumference of your feet. To pull on a toe, and this is one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And let me know which toe. One, four, three, one, five, one, four, three. Now I'm going to draw a letter underneath your foot. Um, let me know what it is. A. S. M. R. Good job. I'm just gonna measure the length of your Five point six. 
Any discomfort? No. Okay, I'm just gonna put your socks back on. Feel free to get up whenever you're comfortable. How do you feel? Better. Great. I didn't notice any bruising on your knees. Mm -hmm. um, no swelling either. Mm -hmm. I think that um, you might just have banged yourself up quite a bit mm -hmm. and might just need all the rest that you can get. Mm -hmm. um, there's no uh, inflammation on your head either. Um, no bruising on your skin. So I think you just need some extra rest. Make sure you drink lots of water okay. and take some acetaminophen if you can. Okay. Um, let me know in another week or two how you're feeling, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Hi, Luna. My name is Dr. Kat. I see that you're here for a uh, foot exam and reflexology appointment. So tell me what brings you in today. So I've been having this foot and knee pain for a while now. Um, I was um, a ballerina when I was little. I took ballet for a couple of years and I really worked my my feet um, a lot. And I have this recurring pain that comes and goes. Okay, on a scale of one to 10, how bad is the pain? Um, it's about a three over on my knee and that comes more at night. And then maybe a four on the sole of my foot. Okay. All right. Now, do you run currently? I am a runner, yes, and that's actually a big problem that I'm not able to run as much as I'd want to. Okay. So I'm just going to ask, does it hurt more as you're running or after the run? Um, a lot after the run, definitely. And while I'm running, I have to stop sometimes. Um, and the pain really shoots up sometimes. Okay, what does the pain feel like? Is it a sharp feeling or a dull feeling? It starts off as a dull and then it radiates towards the knee. Um, and when I run at my fastest, that's when it becomes sharp shooting. Okay, and how long does it last? Anywhere between a couple of seconds to a minute, I'd say sometimes. And have you been checked for any plantar fasciitis? No, never. Or tendonitis? No. Okay. All right, and do you, um, do you get any headaches at all? Sometimes now that, that you're asking me this, I do get some headaches at night. Okay. I never associated them with the um, pain in the foot though, but they could be related. Definitely. We're going to be using our reflexology point pressure therapy. We'll focus on every organ of your body and we'll work on getting you feeling much better. Sounds great, thank you. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put this down. And so this was the knee here, yes? Yes, right Are you able here. to lift up your leg for me? Yes. Okay, any pain there? A little bit, yeah. Okay, as I'm pressing down, what pain level would this be? Uh, four. Okay. All right. And if you could just put that back down. And does that hurt at all? Yeah, it hurts now. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go ahead and assess your gait. This means that you're going to stand up and walk for me. We'll be checking your posture at the same time. And so if you could, I'll have you stand. Okay. I will have you turn and walk towards the end of the massage table. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and have you do that right now. I see a little bit of a limp. Very good. Turn around and just come back. Okay. I'll be back up just a little. And I'll have you lift the knee. 
And do you feel any pain? Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm just having a feel here with my fingers and running them down the leg. Does it radiate down to the sole of the foot? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I'll have you do the same thing with the other leg. Now this one is more painful, right? Mm, yeah, a little bit. Okay. Then on a scale of 1 to 10, how bad is the pain now? It's 3. And it radiates to the bottom of your foot? Yeah. Okay, you can go ahead. All right, what we're going to do next is focus on some pressure point therapy, reflexology. We're going to start off with the top of the foot, do some massage techniques, and I'm going to have you lay down on the massage table, okay? Sounds good. Are you comfortable? Yes. I'm going to go ahead and put on my latex gloves. Go ahead and do just an initial assessment of the skin. Today I'm looking for any redness, bumps, or bruising. Noting any bruises of any kind, any lesions, bumps, or any signs of eczema, psoriasis, or I'm not noticing any dryness. I do see a little bit of a scar here. Is that from melanoma removal? No, I hurt my foot in high school. You hurt yourself right here when you were young. Mm -hmm. it must have been a pretty big scar. A scar. It's actually looks like it's about an inch and a half. So that's a pretty big scar. I am going to go ahead and measure that shortly, if I may do so. And no bumps or bruises on this side either. Go ahead and measure the scar. Okay, we're at an inch and a half. And I will be noting that in your profile. And I'm just going to the Big toe and the smaller toes. Perfect. And no lesions. Just looking in between the toes. Okay. And checking the top of the foot here. And no lesions. Here. I'm going to check the and I'm going to go ahead and check the temperature of the legs and the feet. The temperature is regulated. It is not warm on either side. Okay. And quick examination. Okay. Okay. So I'm just going to go ahead and check 
the feet and I'm just pressing on the soles from top to bottom and I want you to just let me know if you feel any pain. Pain at all? No. Okay. Go ahead and check the toes for infection. No, toes are very well taken care of, very clean. Big toe appears to be in good condition, no broken toes. Very clean all around. I'm just having a feel of your toes. I'm feeling to see if there's any broken toes. And they don't appear to be broken. I don't feel like that either, so that's great. Okay, can you wiggle your toes? Perfect. Go ahead and have a look at these here. I'd like to go ahead and check your capillary wrist. Thoughts. What? Less than three seconds. I'm just going to pinch the top of your toe. Check for blood flow. Do the same thing here. Any issues when I press down on the toe? No. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and palpate the arteries, which will also tell me your pulse. And let me just go ahead and check the pulse here. Okay, and checking here. Go ahead and apply a type of sensation to the toes. This is what it's going to feel like. I just want you to say yes when you feel it, okay? Yes. 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 to go ahead and stimulate your blood flow with my Gua Sha tool. And this will help with the therapy. It will help relax your muscles and get you ready for the acupressure reflexology treatment. And do you feel comfortable? between the toes.
good. Don't want you to tell me about pulling your toe up or down. of the nerves. I just want to make sure you can feel um, the nerves. So we're going to start off with the tibial nerve, which is the sole of the foot. Can you feel that? Yes. And on the other side? Yes. Very good. Very good. Okay. Perfect. All right. I'm going to have you turn around. We'll focus on the reflexology at the bottom of the foot, okay? And I'm going to be palpating the superficial perineal nerve that supplies the top of the foot right here. And just let me know if you feel that. Yes. Go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Good. I'm also going to palpate the deep perineal nerve that supplies the first web space here and just say yes as you do feel this okay all right and we do have the saphenous nerve that supplies the uh, medial border of the foot which is right here do you feel that yes very good and the other side Yes. Okay. And we have the serial nerve that supplies the lateral border of the foot. And I'm just palpating right here the lateral border of the foot. Do you feel that? Yes. Very good. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do a Babinski test. I just want to see if you react to this sensation. Good. Very good. And I'm going to I'll go ahead and palpate with my hammer. And I just want you to let me know if you feel numbness in any particular area. And I'm going to be palpating with my hammer all around your organs, which is starting at the, the back here and going towards the throat and tonsils and the nose and the sinuses. And this is helpful for the, the headaches that you've been having. And then down towards the shoulders and the the heart and the spleen. And do you feel any numbness at all? No. Okay. And how is this? Any numbness? No, it feels good. Okay, we're just going to be stimulating um, the reflex points properly because this helps with health issues and it's just a preventative maintenance we're helping improve we're helping improve your blood flow and just putting your body in a state of relaxation
I'm going to put some hot oil on the bottoms of your feet to help with the therapeutic reflexology process. And this is just going to help us as we use our different tools and methods of therapeutic pressure. And just let me know if at any point you feel uncomfortable or if you're in any pain. Okay. Okay. Start off by massaging the heel using my pressure point therapy technique. And going along the side of the foot. using almost a certain texture. focus on this side here. I'm just going to use my washaw tool here to just focus on certain pressure points. This is where um, this next lies, and then here is the bones and the knees. The and we're going all the way down to your adrenal, your kidneys, and the lungs. Focus on the other side. And we'll focus on the knee since you were having pain at the knee area. use my gua sha tool to get in just a little bit deeper here by the knee area. I feel quite a bit of tension here. Can you feel that as well? Oh, yes. I think we're definitely getting somewhere. Focus on the sinuses right here. And I'll 
the other foot. Go ahead and use this tool for in between the toes. I'll do the other one. And tell me, say yes if you feel this. Yes. 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 And do you feel this? And just say yes when you feel this. Yes. 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 Okay. And do you feel this? Down. I'm just going to do some cupping on the feet here.
going to measure the heel of the feet. Just under half. It's the same side, same size. Okay, perfect. I'm going to do a sharp or dull sensation. This is sharp, this is dull. Just let me know which one it is, okay? Okay. Dull. Sharp. Dull. So I'm going to go ahead and check the knees, bending your legs for this. I just want you to tell me if you feel any pain, okay? I'm just going to go ahead and bend the knee, just looking to see if you're feeling any pain. Any pain here? No pain, no. Or if I bend it over this way. No pain, no. Okay, and this way. You sit up. How do you feel after all that work that we just did? So much better. Thank you so much. My knee feels better. My calf muscles is more relaxed and uh, my feet too. So thank you very much. I'm so glad. 
Make sure you get lots of rest. Okay, drink lots of water. And let me know if you need anything else. Thank you. Why don't you go ahead and check your vitals. I'll be looking for a strong heartbeat. No crackling in the lungs. You breathe normal for me. Good, strong heartbeat sounds. That's okay. Good, breathe in deep for me, please. And out. Good. Put you behind. Checking the lungs and breathe in deep for me. And out. Very good. The signs of crackling in the lungs. I am hearing S1 and S2, which is normal for heartbeat sounds. I am going to put two fingers on your um, your big carotid artery. I'm going to I am going to put two fingers on your carotid artery here to check for your pulse. Oh, very good. Check your hands here, your wrists. Very good. And I will be checking your temperature and oxygen levels. I need your index finger. Good, let's put that down. So we're going to be checking your temperature. Okay, 96. Making sure the ear is the same. Which it is, wonderful. Let's look at these oxygen levels, okay? So 99 and BPM is a 95, which is normal as well. Your vitals look great. I'm not worried at all. Welcome back, Katerina. What happened? I heard that you booked an appointment for today on a very short notice. Yes, unfortunately I was walking my dog and he pulled way too hard and started running after another dog and I fell, the most horrific fell on my knee and I think I also cracked my ankle. Did you hear a pop or a crack when you fell? I did. Okay. And your left knee and foot, okay. How about yeah. the right one? Did you hurt the right one? Just a little and I think I also cracked a toe. And when did this happen? Yesterday. Yesterday. When you fell, did you hurt anywhere else on your body? Um, my head hurts a little. You're I think right. I bumped my head, to be honest. What did you hit it on? Um, cement. Oh, okay. That can lead to a concussion. Did you have any blurred vision or double vision right after the fall? Yes, unfortunately. Both of your eyes or just one? Both. Both of them. Okay. Can you point? To where you hit your head. Right here. Okay. So I do feel a little bump right there. So you definitely hurt your cranial area. Any shortness of breath? No. Okay. Any numbness or tingling sensations anywhere in your body? No. No. Did you try anything, cold presses, hot patches, any ibuprofen, over-the-counter medication for the pain? Yes, I've been taking a little bit of ibuprofen. Okay. So I'll be more than happy to perform a foot exam and a podiatry assessment today. Thank as you. well as a cranial nerve exam to make sure that there's no cranial nerve damage as a result of the hit that you suffered on your head. Okay. So 
So let's go ahead and begin an assessment. Just a very brief assessment of your knee. Are you able to lift your leg up at all? Okay. Just can, slightly. Can you touch right here? Okay. Can you touch right here? Okay, almost. Taking a look at the patella, a little bit of redness right here. Can you feel my touch here? Yes. And here? Yes. Here? Yeah. Okay. I'm not seeing any other bruises or indentations. I do feel the inflammation right here. It's a big bump. And I can see a little bit of redness. So let's go ahead and just begin by doing the cranial nerve exam first and then we'll have you lie down and I will take a look at your um, knee and your leg and your feet in more in-depth. All right, let me just check your eyesight and your vision since you bumped your head. Go ahead and look into the distance for me. I'm going to just check for the pupil response. And across and look up for me. Okay. Just going to take a peek at the base of the eyes. Make sure there's no jaundice. Good. Look down for me. Perfect. So eyesight looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and feel your head and palpate and check for any lumps or bumps, indentations on the head. And yeah, I can feel the bump. Let me go ahead and take a look as well with my light. There was definitely no puncture. I'm not seeing any blood, no redness. Okay, that's all good. indentations the base of the neck either or in the back of the head Good. okay let me go ahead and look at the skin as well on your neck your chest, your ears, looks all right. Raise your eyebrows for me, keep them raised, don't let me lower them, good. And can you be, give me a big smile, the frown, good. Puff out your cheeks for me, keep them puffed, good. Stick out your tongue, move it side to side, perfect. And open your mouth and stick out your tongue. Okay. Right, good. Right, I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of tapping all over your body and check the integrity of your bones. And if you feel any pain, just stop me at any moment. Go ahead and click eyes closed. Good. Good. Good reflex on your eyes. Perfect. Good. Open your jaw out for me a little bit and keep it open. Any pain right there? No. Good reflex. Perfect. Good. Good. 
Good reflex. Let's check out your knees too. Just keep them loose, no tension in them. Good. Perfect. Go ahead and take a listen at your heart and lungs. Just breathe normally. Any heart palpitations after the accident? No. Good. Okay. Heart is normal. Take a deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. Deep breath in. And out. Good. You can just breathe normally now. Nice. All vital signs are okay. I'm going to check your balance next, so I want you to just keep your hands parallel. Perfect. And now uh, move them up parallel to your head. Perfect. And now lower one of them and keep the other one raised. Perfect. And now reverse. Perfect. And now lower both of them. Excellent. Now I want you to step down and sit in front of me. And I want you to um, mirror me. Perfect. So this is the right foot, the one that was not damaged, right? So full mobility. Now can you do the same with your left one? Perfect. Can you extend it forward? Can you reach right here? Okay, not too much. Okay, you can lower it. Now can you go like this? Perfect, and the other side. Try to touch your knee. Okay, so you do reach down to your knee. Now can you do the same on the other side? Perfect, you can sit back down. Okay, now I want to take a look a little bit more closely at the knee. Can you place this leg over your right one? Perfect. And keep it right there. I'm going to try to see if I can hear any crackling. Can I move your leg up? Yes. Perfect. Now lower it. Good. And now can you do the same? Can you raise it and lower it? Raise it and lower. Perfect. So I'm not able to hear any crepitous sounds, which is a very good sign. Okay. It means that the meniscus is most likely okay, that there is no complete tear on the rotator cuff. Otherwise, I would have heard a lot of crepitous sounds. Okay. Does that hurt? No. About that? No. And now let's try right on top of the patella. This may be a little bit painful. Any pain there? Just a little. Just a little bit, okay. Going to do some acupressure therapy. Relieve some of this pain.
Keep your eyes closed. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, I want you to tell me when it stops. No. 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 I'm going to do a test that's called sharp or dull. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay, so that's dull. And do you feel that? Yeah. That's sharp. So tell me what you feel. Sharp. 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 Do. Sharp. Do. Sharp. Do. Do. I'm going to measure the patella, the kneecap here. Lay down and I will continue with the foot exam. Just palpating your patella and tibia bone. Not feeling any fractures. Checking for edema. Okay. Feeling your popliteal pulse. Okay, good. And the pedal pulse, two plus. Both legs synchronized. Capillary refills are two seconds plus on both legs. Even temperature distribution. Mm -hmm. 
The plantar region is a little bit cold. Is that normal for you? Yes. Going to inspect your toes and in between them. Checking for any sores, any bruises. The nails look healthy, no signs of clubbing or pinning. Can you wiggle your toes for me? Okay, good. Can you rotate this foot for me? Mm-hmm. And clockwise. Perfect. Okay. Can you rotate your left foot as well? Clockwise now. Perfect. Okay. Any pain when I do this? No. Any pain here? No. Okay. Any pain here? No. Here? No. Okay. So I'm not noting any abnormalities. No bruises. No redness. Okay. Going to go ahead and tap on your bones. And I'll start with the tibia bone and the metatarsal bones. And I'm going to check for any fractures, anything that may be on a more, you know, the level of a fissure. So tibia bones are intact on both of your legs. Let's check the metatarsals. Good. So no breakages or fractures on the metatarsals. Let's check the phalanges. and the phalanges either. Okay, do you feel this? Yes. And this? Yes. Okay, which leg am I touching on, left or right? Right. your pinky. Perfect. Big toe on your left foot. Perfect. And pinky. Perfect. So you retain full range of motion on your toes and your legs and no broken bones. Let's go ahead and perform a sharp or dull test to check your dermatomes. Is it sharp or dull? Dull. Dull. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. So the surreal nerves and the saphenous nerves are well innervated and there are no signs of any nerve damage. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and check. 
some measurement. Checking for how your muscles are reacting at the same time. So I'm seeing good level of symmetry as of right now in both of your legs. And feet. And there's no level of inflammation that is more pronounced in one of your legs than the other one, which is great news for the blood flow and the circulation in both of your legs. All right, let's go ahead and flip over. All right, let me go ahead and inspect calves muscles of your legs in the back i'm seeing one big scar here how did this happen when i was young my sister she traced me with a broom that was broken and yeah <laughs> cut me oh wow it's a big scar other than that i'm not seeing any abnormalities you have a couple of moles that are very small Plantar region looks clean and evenly colored. The scaling of the skin. Really well hydrated feet. I'm gonna go ahead and palpate the plantar region. Checking the calcaneus bone. And the fibula in the back. Okay, any pain here? No. Good. I'm gonna pull on your legs. Any pain there? No. Checking the fibula in the back. The bone does not appear broken. <coughs> and palpating the plantar region. Pulling on your leg. Any pain here? No. Okay, flexing it all the way back. Any pain there? No. Okay. And let's flex the other leg as well. Any pain there? No. Good. Okay. I'm going to tap on the fibula bones in the back and the calcaneus region. No pain. And 
let's check the level of inflammation in your muscles. I'm seeing a very good symmetry between the muscles in the two legs. Good. Is it sharp or dull? calcaneus region it really helps to trigger some of the meridians we can see the skin slightly discolorating while the blood flow is pushed down and then coming back to a pinkish color when the blood comes back as well, could you some relief? perform a massage of the calf muscles.
massaging your tibial nerve. And the plantar region. As well as in each one of your toes. I got a little crack there. And the tibial nerve around the calcaneus region. And the fibula bone in the back. A lot of tension is being stored right here. Right, I'm going to touch with a cold object and I want you to see when you stop feeling it. No. 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 concern whatsoever with any nerve damage or with your dermatomes in your legs and your feet. Right, let's get back up. Okay, Katharina, this concludes the foot, leg and knee assessment. Good news is that I was not able to notice any nerve damage. Uh, your cranial nerves are intact, so we're not looking for anything neurologically out of the ordinary uh, here. You're perfectly healthy. It's just um, muscle pain that can be relieved with just a couple of days of rest and a couple of hot, cold patches and some ibuprofen. Very good. How Thank do you, you feel? I feel so much better, actually. The massage is great. Great. Are you able to stretch your foot out a little better now? Perfect. Okay, and any pain when you do that? No. No, good. So I hope I was able to help you, and if you don't get better in a week, come back and see me. Definitely. Thank you. You're welcome.